Talk It Out NC is an initiative encouraging parents to speak to their kids about the dangers of alcohol before they experience it. The program actually relies on people who are in recovery themselves to spread the message. Our Rachel Boyd met up with a recovering alcoholic who shares why he's doing everything he can to battle underage drinking before it's too late. Curtis Taylor had a family and two young kids when he decided to turn his life around and begin to battle his alcohol addiction. I personally was about 12 years old with, with my first experience with alcohol. And lo and behold, I did develop that substance use disorder. But I am also a person that's in long-term recovery. And what that means for me is that I have not used alcohol or any other substance in over 18 years now. He went back to school, got his degree, found new hobbies, even opened a business. Well, life is good. Life is, is just really, really good, but it's all due to a recovery lifestyle. And now he's serving as an ambassador for Talk It Out Tuesday. I'm hoping that I can impact kids in a way to where they won't have to go through everything that I went through. Curtis says the pandemic has caused a mental health crisis in teens, and many of them have begun to self-medicate with alcohol. The fact of the matter is that the earlier someone experiences alcohol or any other substance for that matter, the more likely they are to develop a substance use disorder. The average child first experiences alcohol at age 14 in North Carolina. By age 15, half of teens have tried alcohol. And each week, one person in North Carolina dies as a result of underage drinking. As parents and adults with the youth in our lives, we can't be afraid to start this conversation. Talk It Out Tuesday uses a panel of experts to present data to parents and teens who may be unsure where to even begin. They know a lot more than you think, and they can handle this subject a lot better than you would think. He says it's absolutely <laughs> vital that kids find something else to do when they feel the urge to drink. Exercise is his outlet. I don't consider myself like replacing substances with running or with reading, but I will say, and, and I don't mind, it's the devil's workshop, right? So, so we do need to be active, and if we're going to be active, we, it might as well be something positive. His message is clear. No judgment. What I promote is understanding and uh, expressing empathy and, you know, being able to have an open mind and just simply listen to where somebody's coming from. His hope is that when kids look at him, someone who has been where they are, they can see hope and potential in their own futures. I also know the power of resilience and that we can overcome anything, absolutely anything that takes place in our lives.